Okay, so I am going to talk a little bit about my pivot into tech and using course careers to get there. No previous experience in tech sales. Um, I did have a degree in something totally different and has had been in that career for like most of my life. So here we go, let's get into it. So it's so funny because me and my husband last year were looking at <laughs> um, a podcast. Anthony O'Neill and Cyrus Hyron were just happily talking about, you know, financial freedom and, you know, the trajectory of changing your family, generational wealth. And then he started talking about tech sales. And me and my husband looked at each other. We're like, why have we never thought about tech? And it's so interesting because sometimes in some of these communities of color, when you think about tech, you do not see yourself. You think Steve Jobs, you think, you know, Silicon Valley, you think white male in their basement or garage creating like Apple or, or, or whatever. You think of Facebook and, you know, in some college room with their friends. Anyway, you don't think of us. And so seeing Tech is the New Black Platform, seeing them talk about course careers on Anthony O'Neill, me and my husband was like, yo, let's do this together. So we took our tax check and we enrolled into course careers together. Now we're full grown adults adulting with full time responsibilities. We just had a daughter, so we had a baby. Um, baby starting to go into toddlerhood while taking this course. So some of those stories of, oh, I finished in two weeks or I finished, you know, I finished in a week. That just was not our story. So for those of you who are watching, comment below or give me two stars up. If you are um, parents trying to pivot or if you're a single mom trying to pivot, um, just shout out to those um juggling a pivot with some kids so that is our story so we literally had to study on breaks study on lunch breaks um we would study together and do some of the courses shout out to trent um at course careers and troy for creating such a great um platform studying after putting her to bed so like kind of tired but getting it done so it took us a little longer um maybe about a month and some change it took us to finish the course but it was so cool because after when you get your certificate, they also teach you how to land the job. And then you just have an automatic source of alumni networking. You know, people are posting in the job uh, discord. Um, people are hopping on to help with interview prep. The whole tell me about yourself. Um, yeah don't wing it get get that intact get your little pitch of what um is significant about you being in any new space um with the skills that you will have gained from course careers plus the transferable skills that you already have um in your current job or in your current just livelihood that can translate into uh tech sales so got the certificate and like they said, so I would apply for a job, say on LinkedIn, then I'd go to the company site mm -hmm. and I'd look mm -hmm. under people in LinkedIn. And then I would um, hit up maybe VP of sales, maybe an AE, maybe an SDR to see how the company culture really is versus what they put on the job description, um, like a coffee chat type of deal, virtual. Um, and then I would use Vidyard, which is a platform where you can create videos. And I'd send a video to the recruiter or the hiring manager, um, which is kind of like I did maybe like a really short snippet of version of Tell Me About Yourself. And so, um, yeah, I was doing that for a while. And let me tell you, it took so long. I My story was not the landed a job a week after course careers. That was not my story either. So. For those of you where it's not a quick turnaround or it might not quick turn around, I'll tell you, do not be discouraged. You just got to keep going. And for those of you who might already be in course careers, 
don't get all bent up out of shape about that final exam you're studying as you're going along in the course and just take it i know people who have landed jobs midway through the course i know people have landed a job who did not have a 90 percent on the final i did not have a 90 percent on the final um i had 80 something and here we are i'm in tech sales and been in tech sales for about seven months now um so that's pretty much our pivot story i come from a long background of teaching and acting uh, so i've been an actor since i was oh, i want to say like seven um uh, my biggest role to date fun fact about me that i don't think i've posted before on our tech channel um but i was the voice of young nala in the lion king and the original voice in the 1994 animated classic the lion king i was about 12 years old um when i booked that role and we're in our 30th year so that's just bananas that's so crazy um but yeah so i was like i'm patting myself on the back i've been in a career for like 30 some years and i made a transition to a totally new um industry and then the vertical that i'm in is totally different like the job i'm in now is i'm dealing with restaurant owners and and general managers like so you know it doesn't even have to be I was being very um, I was being very like niche in the beginning but then I kind of broadened my web a little bit and as long as onboarding is good with the platform then you can really succeed at any company in tech sales I my things were um, fully remote my things were company culture has to be a good fit my thing was growth and um, professional development in the program was big for me um, some of the questions now that I would ask no having been in the job I would ask about the quota attainment um, something you'll learn if you take the course um, is it are most of the SDRs BDRs hitting those quotas or is it like an unrealistic quota meaning you're gonna get your base but hardly nobody's making commission then that's not my jam either um, but the commission possibilities especially when it says uncapped you want to make sure that it says uncapped um, when you're doing your job searching it could say 50k base or something but by the time you get all your commissions every month you could be up to 70 80 90 I've seen some SDRs 100k um, in this tech sales space so it's not only is it kind of I feel like the easiest route to break into tech and then you can venture off if you want to do sales engineering or you know um, sales enablement or s customer success something else but I do feel like tech sales is kind of the easiest way to get in and then once you're in just like with any other field the networking and getting to a place where you really want to land is um, much easier so I would say go ahead and invest in yourself I will have a link um, in the description that will get you a discount but go ahead and use my link watch the three free um, videos that kind of tell you a little bit about what the course is going to be like tell you a little bit about tech sales tell you a little bit about um, like the terminologies and the the responsibilities and then if it sounds like something you're willing to do uh, you know kind of change where you're coming from I I would suggest to go ahead and jump on in the ROI on on the investment you will get within like your first week in tech sales um, yeah that 450 I saw that back like the first three four days in tech um, so like the earning potential is great if you're not happy with the income that you're bringing in um, if you want to work fully remote and you're like us and want to have more time with your kids it's definitely a place to be um, if you're even younger and you want to not be in debt for school and you're interested in tech sales then I would just do this boot camp and not spend four years um, and a lot of money when you could if you're living with your parents or something break it down and get it done in two weeks and be starting starting to make your money and uh, and have that have that bank account start growing right away um, so whatever stage that you're at I really think that this is one of the best platforms that is out there so if you're not interested in tech sales there's also HR there's also UX UI there's also IT there's also customer 
success i think and then there's two other ones on there on the platform but like i said i think tech sales is the easiest um, my husband has not broken in yet he has a full-time job and just got a raise so he's being a little more strategic and a little more picky um because there's not like um a big urgency on his back um but once he gets fully remote and i get fully remote um our next step is to you know, try buy a house and move a little further out where the houses are affordable. <laughs> um, and when you're fully remote, you can do that. Um, you know, just find a place where the, you know, of course the schools are good. And just being able to provide anything and everything for my daughter, for all her interests. Go, we've been going on more trips. We've been doing a lot more outings just because there's extra, a lot more extra income coming in. Um, and we just hope to see it scale and grow from there. Um, and I'm a big advocate for this. So if you have any questions, I have loads of videos. I'm already posted when I didn't even have a tech job yet. I was just in the course. So I have a lot of course related um, videos. So go ahead and follow uh, tech, the Harris Tech Pivot and go ahead and click that link. Watch the free videos and then um, if you want to go ahead and jump in there, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. And just as a side note, to see the impact, three people from my company are from Course Careers, and two of those people saw the same exact podcast with Anthony O'Neill and Cyrus Harding. So the fact of people landing, I mean, that's a big, that's a big coinky dink, don't you think? Um, so come and join this tech bag with us because the future of tech is here. It's not the future anymore. It's here. So you're either going to be with it or you're going to be left behind. Do not listen to those people who are like, oh, this is a phase. No, AI is already here. Tech is already here. Um, it's just going to be people who know and who are in it and people who are left behind. So don't be left behind and come join this with us. Click that link. Mommy.